In this video, I'll give you a complete overview of XDRAW. As soon as you log in, you will land on a dashboard, which provides a quick overview of everything happening in your account. Now, to quickly create a design, click Design via XDRAW. Give your design a name, let's say Axis Designs. Then, adjust the number of designs as needed. For instance, if there are six identical rooms, increase the number of designs to six, saving the effort of manual design repetition. We have a unique feature template for standardized jobs. You can preview these templates before using them, such as auditoriums, classrooms, meeting rooms, and more. You can preview, modify, and save these templates as your own. All your saved templates can be accessed under My Templates, eliminating the need to redo bills of materials or line schematics each time and select the type of room you want to build. Then, if you have already created a project, you can add this design to the projects that will appear in this dropdown. Alternatively, you can also create one on the spot. You can start your design with the floor plan by toggling the option to yes. The products you add to your floor plan will be included in your BOM on the back end. Finally, click create design to start with your BOM and line schematics. You will land on the Bill of Materials page, and you can easily search and add products using the search feature, filtering by brand, category, or model. Then, there are two types of libraries to consider. The first is the Combined Library, which includes the XDNAV Library and My Library. Second, My Library serves as the organization's product catalog. You can access My Library easily from the left side of the page. Then, SearchSense is an AI-powered feature that remembers your previous searches and preferences, placing your most used products at the top of the search page. Let's add a switcher for demonstration. You can see here that this product has been used 13 times before. We'll also add more products, such as a DSP, control, projector, camera, speakers, and touch panel. To save the product to your library, click the Copy to My Library button. Once you do that, the product will be tagged as My Library. You can also replicate products with the Clone feature. You can also edit the product details by selecting the Edit option and customizing everything. Additionally, you have the option to add custom items as single or package products using the Add Custom Item feature. These custom additions can be saved under My Library for later use, making it even easier to design your next project. Then click Open Extra Editor to begin working on the schematics. You will be prompted to choose between a single tab or multi tab design. If you need to keep your audio, video, and control devices on the same page, select a single tab or opt for a multi tab to avoid overlap. For illustration, I will start with a single tab design. After opening the Extra Editor, if you forgot to add a product, in that case, you can directly add a product from the editor using the Product Block option. For illustration, let's add a display. Once added, remember to click on the Save button in order to save your design. Navigate back to the BOM page and refresh. The display has been added to the BOM, now synchronized with the drawings. Moreover, you can add symbols to your design, as I have added a laptop. Now, to make the connections, go to any port. You'll see a green dot. You have to drag and drop to make the line connections. While you do this, you will notice that the cable label, cable ID, and cable color have been generated automatically. But you can update all of this based on your workflow. Once all the connections are made, the design will appear as illustrated. To tailor your cable and signal configurations, navigate to your extra settings. In this section, you can adjust video, audio, control, and other settings to suit your specific workflow needs, then click Save. Then we have Device Block Settings. You can create a new device block using the Add Device Block button here. If you need to alter an existing device block, the Edit option under the Actions button allows you to adjust block settings, port settings, and more. Remember to save your changes upon completion. Similarly, we have the Title Block Settings. You can generate a new title block by clicking on the designated button. For existing title blocks that require modifications, use the Edit button under Actions to make the necessary changes. The title block allows you to upload up to four company logos or images from your system, add notes, or make other modifications. Once you've made your changes, click the Save button to secure your title block settings. 
Set the title block as default if you wish to use it consistently in your XDRAW editor. Next, we have the border settings section where you can adjust the border thickness, style, color, and other preferences. Once satisfied with your changes, click the save button to apply them. Next, the paper size settings allow you to adjust the paper dimensions via the drop-down menu. Choose a portrait or landscape layout and click save to retain your settings. Returning to the editor page to apply the updated cable and signal settings, navigate to the extra settings button. Under cable settings, select the pull cable setting button. To incorporate the title block, return to the extra setting button and select add title block from the title block settings. To apply the border settings, go to the extra settings again, select border settings and click on add borders. You will see that the border has been added to your design. Extra provides various customization options from the editor page, including coloring the device block for easy identification and adjusting paper settings, size, scale, and more. While Extra Navy offers an autosave feature every 15 minutes for your convenience, we suggest saving your design right after making changes. Upon completion, you can export the design in various formats, such as PNG, JPEG, SVG, PDF, Visio, HTML, XML, and AutoCAD. Extra Navy has rolled out a new feature, Check Connections with AI. By clicking the button, a dialog box will appear, initially showing no invalid connections. For demonstration purposes, I'll create a connection. You'll instantly see this connection flagged as invalid in the dialog box. Click on this flagged connection, and the system will zoom in on it, enabling you to correct it swiftly. Next, we'll review our design docs. Click on it to continue. This will direct you to additional extra documents essential to your design. First, we have the bill of material, which we created before delving into our line schematics. Tap view for a quick overview. You can also download it in Excel or PDF. Following this, we have the line schematics we recently created in our extra editor. Click view for a quick overview. Next is the automated signal flow diagram. All you need to do is click on generate. The system will promptly collect images of your equipment from your schematic and construct a detailed visual representation of your design. Moreover, populate the legend as well. Next, we have the automated rack layout. Click generate and the system will craft a rack elevation specifically for you. If we had included the rack in our bill of material, the automation system would have defaulted to that rack instead of the optimized one. You'll also have the flexibility to adjust and rearrange items as needed. Rack accessories are available for further customization of your setup. Following this, we have the automated cable schedule. This feature provides a thorough wiring guide for your technician, including cable IDs, the devices at both ends of the cable, ports, and more. You can add specifics such as the cable length, cable type, signal type, and other details in custom columns. Plus, the schedule can be exported as an Excel or PDF document. Up next, we present the exclusive automated ceiling speaker layout feature. Click on the specification button. Then, by providing us with the specifications of your room and selecting a speaker of your preference, such as JBL, you can choose the coverage pattern, for instance, partial overlap, specify the number of speakers, and click Generate. We will identify the optimal installation points for your speakers, marked by red dots. We'll also indicate the speaker's coverage angle and calculations are based on the industry standard AVIXA guidelines. Moving on, we have Proposals. This feature allows you to generate client proposals directly from your design. Following that, we present the scope of work, a blank canvas for you. If you need to outline a scope, you can do it here. Next, we have floor plans. You can either create a new one from scratch or upload an existing file from your system in formats like PNG, JPG, SVG, PDF, DWG, or DXF. Once uploaded, you can pull BOM products into your floor plan. Start annotations on top of it by resizing and adjusting the product you want on your floor plan. You can also do the connection and select the waypoint style. Once you've completed the annotation, remove any products you don't need. We offer a VIXA and extra symbols for your use. 
Additionally, we provide a floor plan symbol that can be incorporated into any floor plan, whether newly created or uploaded. Additionally, you can search for specific shapes. For instance, I've added a CCTV symbol, resized it, and annotated it directly on the floor plan. Next, we have the automated front elevation diagram. We will need the dimensions of the room's wall, for example, 15 by 12 feet. Then, choose the type of screen, from the display or projector screen to the camera. If it's on your bomb, you can include up to four displays in your elevation simultaneously. As you proceed, the diagonal size aspect will be automatically adjusted. You also have the option to modify it. Once you're done, just hit the save button. Your automated front elevation will be created. As you interact and navigate within the display, you'll observe that the dimensions adjust automatically in response to your movements. Next, we have plates and panels. Search for plates and connectors by entering the model number or brand name, then add them to your editor. You can also customize your plates by simply adjusting connectors directly. Name the wall plate design and click Save. Once you return to your bomb and refresh, you will notice that all your plates and panels are automatically synchronized and saved as bundled packages in your bill of materials. Finally, we have submittal spec sheets. Once you click on Generate, the submittal document is created to compile all product spec sheets in your BOM, eliminating the manual task of downloading spec sheets from various manufacturers. Use the Resync Submittals button to keep your document updated in real time based on your latest BOM. Likewise, you can include submittals as a section within your proposals. There are several other actions you can perform within the extra. You can save your drawing as an extra template, so you don't have to start the design from scratch for a standardized job. Access these templates under Extra Templates. Then, we have View Versions, where you can create and track changes for different versions within the same project. Next up is the Download Zip option. Download all your documents together rather than downloading each one separately. Select the documents and their desired format, then click Continue. You'll receive an email containing your documents shortly after. Then we have the option to upload attachment, which you can use like Dropbox. You can upload site images, pictures, forms, and more, except for video files. Then we have asset management. It includes the model number, description, and quantity for each item in your BOM. You can manually add assets, modify headers, and export them as Excel or PDF. Thank you for watching. For more, log on to Extend.